On Tuesday's episode of the BBC Strictly spin-off show It Takes Two, host Rylan Clark welcomed Ellie Taylor and Johannes Radebe onto the sofa. The duo spoke about their most recent Charleston routine which impressed the judges. However, with the dance sending many stars home in this series, Johannes admitted he was worried. In the latest installment of Strictly Come Dancing, the remaining nine stars took to the dance floor to try and make it through to the infamous Blackpool Week. One of those included the dancing duo Ellie Taylor and Johannes Radebe who were trying to impress Craig Revel Horwood, Motsi Mobuse, Shirley Ballas and Anton Dubeka with their Charleston routine. Although with Kay Adams, Ellie Simmond and Jade Adams all being eliminated from the competition after doing a Charleston, it's been called the dance of death by viewers. Speaking to Ryland about their routine, Strictly Pro Johannes confessed he was worried after seeing it send so many people home. Tired, repetitive and overhyped, BBC viewers call for Strictly to be axed after 20 years Strictly Come Dancing first began in May 2004 and has seen many celebrity faces take to the dance floor for a chance to win the iconic Glitter Ball trophy. However now BBC viewers have called for the competition to be cancelled after 20 years, calling the show tired and repetitive. The It Takes Two host asked, Jojo, we've broken that Charleston curse. It has seemed like the dance of death this series. Asking if he was worried going into Saturday's performance, he replied, well yeah. Who wouldn't be? I have to say I think by Tuesday or Wednesday when we were running the whole number and seeing the joy in her face and seeing how much she was enjoying herself. I was like, you know what, if she's at this stage it means come Saturday people will receive her the way she's doing it now and it was exactly that. It was just beautiful. Ryland commented that drama was added during Saturday night's show as they were the last duo to be saved from going into the dance-off. Ellie admitted after seeing everybody else go through, there was a moment when she believed she and Johannes would be fighting to stay in the competition. She said, you can see by our complete confusion because we didn't understand, what a pair of donuts. Totally had no idea what was happening. Totally thought we might be in there, I started thinking about what I was going to say if I was going home, I'd done the speech, so definitely was thinking that. Dot however, Ellie and Johannes were saved by the public and it was Tyler West and Diane Buswell and Tony Adams and Katya Jones in the bottom two. Although after sustaining an injury from his performance on the live show, Tony decided to withdraw from the competition. This meant that last weekend there was no dance-off and all the remaining stars had automatically made it through to the next live show. Speaking about heading to Blackpool for the first time since joining the show in 2018, Johannes was extremely excited. Screaming on the sofa, he said, of course last year we were deprived of the opportunity. But this year, it's back and we're back. I said babes, grabbing Ellie's hand, you are in for a ride. Currently at the top of the leaderboard are Floriste and Vito Coppola with a score of 39 with Hamza Yassin and Will Meller following in close behind with 38. Strictly Come Dancing continues Saturday on BBC One at 7.45pm.